Francis, thanks a lot for sharing something of what's going on for you and your thoughts on how initial thoughts on how therapy might work. One of the things that we sometimes do here that sometimes people find useful is that we've got um, an inventory of preferences that we emailed to you, if, if you remember. And uh, it's just a way of kind of getting a bit more of a sense of how you like therapy to be and it kind of covers different kind of preferences that people have. So I think you've got that form there. It's called the Keeping All Cross Inventory of Preferences, the CNIP. And uh, would you be all right just to take a minute or two just to um, fit it in, just do the, the lines there and then anything on the second page about any particular preferences you have. And then if you'd like to do that and then that's the one, yeah, if you'd like to do that and then just send that back to me uh, just quickly by email and then we can go through it together. Okay. Fine, thanks. Francis, thanks a lot for sending that form back. That's great. So I'm just, maybe we can just spend a few minutes going through it. and. I'm just looking at, so the first dimension is around whether you want something which is more kind of therapist directed or more client directed. I'm not sure we can see that, but I can see on that dimension that it's kind of, there wasn't a strong preference there about whether you lead or I lead. And it sounds like you're very balanced um, on, on that dimension. And then the second one was around emotional intensity. And again, it was quite balanced there. The third one that we've got here was the one about whether you wanted to focus on your past or your present. And what I can see there is that on those scales down there, you've indicated quite a strong preference to focus on your past. Um, can you say a little bit more about that? Well, I've not had a good past and my previous boyfriends have always dumped me. So I just, it's, it's hard talking about it sometimes, but I just need to offload what's happened to me with my present boyfriend. And I just need time to do that really. Yeah, so maybe there's something about by to address the, the, the problems in the present, it needs looking back in the past and looking at um, what's gone on there and maybe what's gone wrong. Yeah, well, I, I, I tend to blame myself, but I know it's not me. Yeah, and I can see that on this dimension here also, you said maybe talk a little bit about your childhood. Is that something that would be kind of useful to go into a bit as well? Yeah, that'd be good because... You know, like I've said to you before, I've come from a, a large family, but I just felt like I was, because I was one, one in the middle, never got heard. My voice was never heard. Um, right. It could be contributing to how I'm feeling in life. Yeah. So that's something that we can definitely do together is to spend some time by talking about kind of past relationships, but also maybe going and talking a bit about your childhood and being the one in the middle and what that meant and, kind of exploring how that might be related to some of the problems that you, you you're experiencing at the moment yeah yeah that's interesting. and then just looking at the you, you haven't expressed the kind of some reverence on and again it's quite balanced on warm sport or or being more challenged but on these kind of open questions here i can see that you've put around wanting sessions in terms of the length for being 60 minutes um you know, and people have really different preferences around, and that's great that you, you've expressed that. Do, do you want to just say a little bit about where that comes from? Well, when I had my um, therapy last time, it was only like 40, 45 minutes, and I just right, felt okay. that it wasn't enough time, and I felt, like I said before, I don't want to be rushed. I want to be able to just say things at my pace, and I just felt the whole session was rushed, and and I think what people tend to don't remember is once you've got therapy, you need time to sort of wind down, rather than just, you know, finish bluntly. So, so I prefer a longer session. So if we could have our sessions for about 60, 60 minutes, that would be great for me, I think. Okay, well, that's fine for me. I can go up to an hour with the sessions. And then it sounds like maybe there'd be something also about having some wind down time, maybe being told that, I don't know, 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes, when the session, that you've got 10 minutes left, that we've got 10 minutes left. So yeah. that you kind of know. That would be good. That would be very good for me anyway. Yeah. Right. Thank okay. You. We can definitely do that. Thanks. Well, welcome back, Dave. And thanks so much for completing this CNIP preference form um, after our first session. Uh, as you might remember, um, this form helps us individualize or personalize therapy to you to reach your goals. So. Um, I've had the time to, to score it. And on three of the scales, uh, Dave, your scores are in the average range. 
So on directiveness and present past orientation, I'm delighted to see that you're flexible and balanced. There is one notable score that indicates you have a strong preference for our sessions involving lots of intensity, you know, affect, emotions. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, I, well, when I was filling that in, I was I was sort of thinking, I, I kind of like to get directly to the point with stuff. You know, I, I'd prefer it if we could not talk our way around things. I felt like, you know, I had counselling in the past and it seemed to go on and on, but I just want to get straight to the point with things and, and maybe tackle issues directly and specifically, if that makes sense. That does make sense. And we'll try to honour that preference. And if I'm hearing you correctly, it's, direct to the point, get to the feelings. And if I am a little too direct or hitting on a sensitive topic, a little too hard, do you think you would let me know? Yeah, yeah, that, that would sound agreeable. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. And if I'm not pushing enough, if we're not dealing with enough affect feelings, you could let me know about that as well. Yeah, for certain. I've, I've had a tendency to bottle stuff up in the past, but it's I think we need to get it out. That's probably the best way to approach it. Okay. Uh, well, we'll certainly start that way and uh, reevaluate as we go along then. So that's very helpful. And that's also the model for how we'd like to work together, Dave, that um, you're expressing your feelings about the session, about yourself, about me as we proceed. Fair enough? Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yep. Good. Good. And on the back uh, page of the CNIP, you also indicated a desire for not only individual therapy, but couple therapy. Could you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah, if I'm honest, I think maybe some of the other stuff that's been going on is being dragged through the household. We, um, we're just not getting on at the minute, if I'm really honest. Um, there's a bit of tension, it, even simple things like trying to decide what's being cooked for dinner it's it's all out the dirty laundries everywhere we need to i think it would be good for both of us to get in the room and maybe thrash some of these things out sensibly well i appreciate your candor and uh you're disclosing that um i do both individual psychotherapy and i also conduct conjoint couples therapy so in a few sessions or when we think we're ready uh we'll invite your partner in then that sounds good okay all right so thanks again for expressing these preferences. It can really direct uh, the therapy and make it more effective. So let's start out right along this path. That sounds great, okay.